In this example, we will be finding the square root of 169. Usually, in order to find the square root of a value, we would find the factors and then simplify. However, this is a rare case because 169 is an example of a perfect square. A perfect square is a value that if you take the square root of that perfect square, you will obtain as a result a whole number value. So just to reiterate, the square root of a perfect square gives you a whole number. Examples of perfect squares include 3 squared, which is 9 as our perfect square, 5 squared, which is 25 as our perfect square, and 10 squared as 100 as our perfect square. Now we want to think about what number times itself will give us 169. The answer to this question is 13 times 13. We can show this by multiplying 13 times 13. 3 times 3 gives us 9, 1 times 3 gives us 3. Add our 0 placeholder, 1 times 3 gives us 3, and 1 times 1 gives us 1. We can now see that 13 times 13 is 169. Therefore, 13 squared is 169. And finally, we can rewrite the square root of 169 as just 13. We don't need any further simplification or approximation as a square root of 169 is exactly 13.